What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon. You get early access to reactions up there. You got a lot of exclusive content. And for just five bucks, I will react to whatever you want, uh, which is totally what we've got today. Uh, my amazing patron, Wayne, has requested that I go back to Snoopy Broadway. Uh, um, the Broadway performances with the word in the title that if I say it, I will be demonetized. So we won't say that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be uh, Mary Kate and Kurt Mega. So a little kind of Spies Are Forever reunion or prequel, depending on when this was recorded versus Spies Are Forever. But they're going to be covering a song from Phantom of the Opera. I have seen Phantom. Uh, I think I've seen a movie version, maybe the one with Emmy Rossum and Gerard Butler, maybe. Um, and then I did see it live, uh, the touring cast when they came to Minnesota, and it was really, really good. But other than that, um, I like the Phantom soundtrack has never been one that like I listen to on the regular. So you know, full disclosure here, I am not a hundred percent sure what song this is. Uh, I definitely don't have the plot down uh, to Phantom as much as, you know, other musicals that I've seen many times. Um, but it's Kurt and Mary Kate. Like, they're both very good. They're both very good singers. They're both very good actors. They're both incredibly funny. So this is going to be good. I just, I hope that I can appreciate it as much as somebody who is a giant Phantom fan. Um... But yeah, that being said, uh, thanks again, Wayne. I really appreciate the support, the patronage, uh, the request. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Tori can't stuck. Yeah, so I'll be right there. I'm so sorry. I just have to drop something off real fast, but I'll see you soon. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Bye. Uh, excuse me, sir. Seduction lies 
That's fucking fantastic. Uh, past the point of no returns. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, in short, I fucking love that. I thought that was hilarious. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get big. All right, so first off, despite just how funny this was, and it was, it was very funny, Kurt has got such a beautiful voice. Like... The operatic tones that were coming out of his mouth, I don't think that I've heard that from Agent Mega before. So, yeah, that blew me away. Like, this dude, I would love to see him be the Phantom. Has he done any other, like, Phantom covers or anything like that? Because I would love to see it. That guy has got such a beautiful tone to his voice that makes him just great at 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 opera that was so good oh my god um yeah the idea was hilarious the whole trying to return something past the point of no returns was hilarious very very funny these these uh spoopy broadway people are just so funny and super talented as well because i I guess I don't know who comes up with the ideas for this. Is Spoopy Broadway like its own thing? Uh, I think I saw Corey from the Tin Can Brothers in that little image of them at the end. Um, so yeah, are, do they are they like a completely separate kind of like comedy entity? Um, if anybody knows that, please let me know that down in the comments. Um, but yeah, regardless of who comes up with the idea to do you know, a Twilight-themed 16 going on 17, or a vampire-themed Dear Evan Hansen waving through a window, or a trying to return something at a mall point of no returns from Phantom of the Opera. Like, whoever comes up with those, like, crossover ideas, fucking genius. They are so... They're clever, and they're hilarious, and the execution is just spot on. Spot on. Mary Kate's face too when she first walks in to return it and Kurt like turns around and starts singing at her. That, that was amazing. That was so funny. Just like, what the hell is going on right now? Which I feel like that's how any of us would kind of respond if we just walked into a store to do a mundane task and everybody started singing at us. That would be awesome but i feel like i would be a little taken aback at first um and i really did like mary kate as uh christine um i thought she was really she had moments where she was super duper like just awesome and uh, yeah I, I would take nothing away from her performance except for the fact that she was with kurt who again just absolutely blew me away yeah he hopefully he has done more phantom of the opera type songs or covers because the man has got such a great voice for it uh i do have to ask though about the flying squirrel uh onesie is that is that a reference to something in phantom of the opera or like andrew lloyd webber canon uh because i i just watched uh shipwrecks uh edgar Allan poe murder mystery dinner and after ever since seeing that, I just assume that every single line and everything I will ever watch is a reference to something. Because that one was just chock full of literary references. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows that, please let me know. Or if it was just literally something they had like hanging around. Like, what, what should she try to return? Oh, you know what? A onesie would be funny. What kind of onesie? Flying squirrel. Like, however that was done, I, I, I would love to know. Or yeah, if it is referencing something. Uh, and the whole end thing, like, oh yeah, no, past the point of no returns, unless you want store credit. Like, <laughs> that was, that was silly. That was wonderful. Um, but yeah, this was, this was excellent. This was so good. 
uh, shitty Broadway, spooby Broadway, whichever Broadway, it has never like let me down. It has been so funny or so good. Uh, usually a combination of the two. I, I don't think this is my favorite performance, but it's probably number two after uh, Lauren Lopez doing Waving Through a Window. Like, it sounded so good. It was so fucking funny. It was such an interesting concept. Like, I will actually listen to her version of Waving Through a Window before I will listen to the actual cast recording. I know it's terrible. It's, it's awful. But that's what these, you know, shitty Broadway people do. Like, they just make these incredible covers and I'm so ex I I'm so happy that I got introduced to them uh, so yeah once again though thank you so much Wayne I appreciate the patronage and the suggestion it was awesome uh, um, but yeah thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next reaction